So now I'm about to show you how you lay your chicken on the grill. You know, people just say, well, you can just go ahead and put it on the grill. But no, it's a science, it's an art, grilling is an art. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you lay your chicken and maximize your space. This goes for wings, in this case, legs, and things of that nature. So there's a warm and a cool side of the grill. So um, if, you, if you look, you can see where um, the bricks towards this side are higher and that there's just one lining or layer of the bricks on the other side. So when you cook like thicker meats, chicken, um, things of that nature, steaks, you put it on the, the thicker, the, on the hotter side. And for things like um, hot dogs, smoked sausages, you put it on the right side. So it, it cooks a little longer, but it, it, all you basically want it to do is just simmer. So, so after you've washed your hands, you want to place the chicken on the grill. Um, you want to go every other way because this maximizes your space. Um, and that goes with wings and things of that nature, but you'll get the idea as I show you. So as I was saying, you want to go every other way. Grill is nice and hot. Careful, don't burn yourself. See how it's maximizing your space. You want to load the grill up. Use every inch that you can. Normally, some people use tongs, um, but for placement and things of that nature, it's kind of hard to get to. You want to, you know, you can use your hands. However, you do want to make sure that you wash your hands afterwards because chicken carries some things like salmonella. Um, that's not good for you. So, immediately when you put your chicken on the grill, it's going to tend to want to stick. To avoid it from sticking, um, you want to close your grill up and cut off the ventilation. That's going to bring your temperature down and more of your control. You want to make sure that you're in control of the grill. You want to go ahead and keep your ventilation and your grill closed for about five to seven minutes. Um, then you can reopen it, bring your temperature back up to a higher flame. Now would be a great time to pay tribute to my Uncle Francis. That's the man that made it all possible for me as far as my grilling career is concerned. Um, I used to man the grill with him as a kid and one of his most, his main ingredient was beer. I mean, he put beer on everything. Of course, after he took a sip of it, you know, he adds a beer to it. But nowadays, beer makes a great marinade, especially for chicken. Um, myself, born in New Orleans, Louisiana, raised in a little spot called Labadeville, Louisiana, a.k.a. Labadee, a.k.a. Back of Labadee, a.k.a. Bucktown. And if you was from there, you was a Bucktown Hoya. But a lot of the grilling took place in my grandmother's backyard, Edna Joseph. I got to give her her props. 94 years old right now and still going strong. So now that the chicken has been on the grill for some time now um, and you have turned it repeatedly to make sure that all sides are even, um, that's gonna be approximately maybe 25 minutes, but you can't really time grilling. You know, it's, you get out what you put in, so you gotta put some love into it. So basically what you're looking for is for the juices to run clear um, from the meat and that'll let you know that it's close to, be, or actually done, and it'll be time to put your um, sauce on, Belarus barbecue sauce that is. So now is the main event. Everything else with the, with the pre preliminary rounds. Here's the main event. We want to go ahead and put the barbecue sauce on. Belarus barbecue to be exact. www.belarusbbq.com. But anyway, I digress from a point. So let's go ahead and get the sauce on. Want to make sure you put a nice lather on each side. Everybody has their own technique. You can go back and forth. You can do one row at a time. You can do two rows at a time. That's for the more experienced professionals like myself. So you wanna make sure you get a good lather on. Here it's sizzling. That's what you're looking for. Get them nice and saturated. You know, and sometimes, you know, I just keep it interesting and I'll just dunk them in the sauce and, you know, let them sit for a minute so that they actually absorb it and, and then pull them out and put them back in the grill. So now that we put the first layer on, we want to go ahead and flip them, flip them over so that we get the other side. Oh, it's a little charred, but we're going to keep going with it. I'm 
gonna go ahead and lather them up again. Make sure you get both sides. Now the grill is starting to get a little hot, so we'll control that in just a second and moisten the meat back up. As you can see, the spices are running into the meat, which is what you're looking for. Don't be scared to put it on. I mean, just go ahead and give them a bath. They'll be all right. Okay, so now you want to close your vents and your flap. What that's going to do, drop the heat down, and basically it's going to moisten your meat up. So now that we've lathered both sides of the chicken, we're going to go ahead and close our vents, which we've done, as well as the top. We're going to let that sit for about seven minutes. Um, that's going to moisten up your meat, drop your fire a little bit.